Across the country, records have been tumbling as Australia hit its hottest winter temperature in known history. Embrace yourselves because it's set to get even hotter. We're meant to be suffering through our grimmest time of year, but instead... Yeah, it's pr pretty bloody hot. Far too hot. It's like summer and winter. My body hasn't adapted very well to it at all. It's stinking hot, yeah. So hot, in fact, winter records are being smashed around the nation. The bomb today confirming Yalara in the NT hit a record-breaking 36 degrees. Oonadatta in outback South Australia, 39.4 degrees. Birdsville, Queensland, sweltered at 38.4. And Yampi Sound in WA reached our hottest winter temp ever recorded, 41.6 degrees. The extreme heat is certainly being caused by stagnant areas of high pressure. We're not getting those frontal systems coming up from the south to flush out that hot air. And it ain't over yet. Brisbane is forecast to hit 35 degrees on Saturday and Sydney may reach 29 on Friday. 11 degrees more than average for this time of year. I need to go get a fan and a dehumidifier today. Don't mind it one little bit. Bring it on. <laughs> it's weird to have the aircon blowing on 19 in the middle of winter. It all comes amid a record-breaking Northern Hemisphere summer, our hottest July ever recorded. With temperatures exceeding 50 degrees in at least 10 countries so far, and catastrophic wildfires devastating parts of North America and Europe. Thousands of people outside Athens have been ordered to move. Jasper residents' worst fear, the wildfire has moved into the town. Experts say the record-breaking heat around the world is a direct result of climate change. As long as we continue to burn fossil fuels, the temperatures and winters will continue to warm. So how much worse is this all likely to get? And does our hot winter mean we're in for a sweltering summer? We are live from the lands of the cooler nation with Kate Langrock. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, let's not applaud too loud because climate change. Uh, oh, it's, a, it's an issue. Yeah. Climate yeah. scientist Dr Lyndon Ashcroft is here to tell us more about this hot winter. Ashcroft, uh, Dr Ashcroft, what's the significance of all these records that we're seeing? They're jaw-dropping, these records, aren't we? We've had this 41.6 up in the Kimberley, which beats the previous record from August 2020. And... I mean, they're just joining a collection of other records that we've seen all around the world. In the last 12 months, 70% of countries have recorded their warmest temperatures on record. And this is now our warmest value in winter. And, I mean, it's very significant now, but I have to say that in 10, 20 years, it might not be that significant. It might be a standard August. Doc, is it annoying that it's like the thing we, we, want, we don't want to happen is awesome? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, is it hard for you as a client scientist, like, to enjoy the nice weather, knowing, like, what it means? Do you, when you're getting some nice sun, are you, are you feeling guilty? Yeah, Sam, that's such a, <laughs> such a thoughtful question. Thank because you. Because <laughs> on, on, on the one hand, like, as a climate scientist, I see these records fall and I think, oh, statistically, this is so interesting, so fascinating, the weather. Interesting, but also scary. But then, as you say, we're moving into warmer temperatures and in Melbourne, the flowers are out and they normally come out at this time of year, but it's been warm and I've been thinking so nice after a really cold mm. July. But there is that aspect of sadness as well, thinking, oh, am I supposed to be enjoying this? Is this OK? Oh. Is this what normal's going to be like? It's a mixture. I'm sure everyone's feeling that, not just me. Well, Doc, you're right, because our experience has been that it's been freezing, 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 and then all of a sudden it's really hot. So is it possible that the seasons are shifting? Yeah, definitely the seasons are shifting. What did we used to say with Game of Thrones? Winter is coming. Oh. Winter's not coming. Winter's leaving, and it's leaving quicker every year around the country in all the capital cities. Our spring temperatures are arriving earlier. Our winter temperatures at the start of the season are arriving later, and our summers are expanding as well because temperatures are increasing. The planet is more than a degree warmer than it was a century ago, so of course our seasons are changing. What about looking ahead? Is brat summer going to be hot, do you think? <laughs> is that what it's going to be called? Oh, Brat Summer, I yeah. am here for it. Bring out the green. That sounds great. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, the Bureau outlook for spring is suggesting hotter than average days and nights. Prepare for anything in terms of rainfall. And as for summertime, I mean, our summers are hot and they're going to get hotter. The quicker we can reduce carbon emissions, the more we'll slow down this increase of summer temperatures increasing. And so we're looking at a hotter summer, but how much hotter and how severe it's going to be in terms of thunderstorms and heat waves, we've got to keep an eye on the forecast. And bushfires, always the thing to worry about.
Dr Ashcroft, thank you. Thanks for chatting.